the Most High just brought something to my attention and I need to share it with y'all. Pay attention. The U.S. is staring at a baby formula shortage, leaving families across the country distraught. So far, stores in five states, including Texas and Tennessee, are more than 50% out of stock. Supplies are running low in 25 other states. Now watch this. A few mothers reported that they uh, noticed a reduction in milk supply, so they were producing less milk than they were before they were vaccinated. Uh, this is the part that you really need to pay attention to. Watch this. Breast milk company, which should have you worried or just in those three words alone, Alt Breast Milk Company Biomilk raises 3.5 million from Gates investment firm. Beyond Meat, Impossible Foods, two of the most well-known companies disrupting the food ecosystem, as this lamestream article notes. Now the pipeline of alt food companies include Biomilk, and it is spelled B-I-O-M-I-L-Q. And when I referenced this on the morning show this morning, James, I noted, much like the cereal Fruit Loops that spells it F-R-O-O-T, there's zero fruit in that cereal and there ain't no milk in this Biomilk a North Carolina-based startup targeting infant nutrition by attempting to reproduce mother's breast milk in a lab. Biomilk just earned the backing of the world's top investors, raising $3.5 million in funding from Breakthrough Energy Ventures, Bill Gates' investment firm that's focused on climate change. Breakthrough Ventures' investing coalition includes Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Richard Branson, Michael Bloomberg, and more, a real rogues gallery of just sort of the New World Order, Illuminati, super friends, as they like to call themselves. At the problem from a scientific and business perspective on things, you've invested $10 billion in vaccinations over the last two decades, and you figured out the return on investment for that, and it kind of stunned me. Can you walk us through the math? What did she just say? You've invested $10 billion in vaccinations over the last... Now wait just one minute. Uh, first, we've got population. Now, the world today has 6.8 billion people, that's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Did y'all really pay attention? 